Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for your life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you to help us learn from this lesson. Help us apply it to our lives, Father God. Help us to understand what you're trying to show us and help us to improve. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are listening. Father God, um, Holy Spirit, we ask you to pour out your wisdom and knowledge into us. Help us to to understand your word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the verse today is John 10, 27. The man answered, you must love the Lord God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. Subject, the art of loving others. Christian truth, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you the opportunity to say it if you like. I'm a good Samaritan. I'm trusting God. I'm leaving everything to God. I'm finding strength in God. Our neighbor could be the man who we are driving next to. It can be our co-workers. It actually can be our actual neighbor we live by. However it may be, we have to love them like we love ourselves. When I was in the world, I used to love feeding homeless dogs. I, I would carry bags of dog food and water in my truck. So if I seen one that needed water and food, I would stop and feed them. I wasn't scared more about them. I'm more afraid of humans than animals. I love animals. I'm an animal lover of all kinds, and I have had reptiles, hamsters, guinea pigs, crabs, dogs. I love them all because I just love animals. And the love they can give someone with with humans, it was something different. You can give everything to a human, and they will still find something you did wrong. They will find a way to turn against you, and that was my idea of it, that I didn't trust them at all. I trusted in animals more. Wherever trust issues you have, we have, we must bring them to Jesus. And when I gave my life to Jesus, I gave him everything. I told him all my ugly sides, which I knew he knew, but I wanted him to see and know me, which I knew he did. Still, it was the point of me just releasing all this to him because I knew he got me. And after a while, I began to understand that I have to love my neighbor as I love myself. How much do you love yourself? If we say we love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our strength, all our mind, we must love our neighbor. Luke 10 and 29 says this. The man wanted to justify his answer, so he asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? This man in this story, this chapter wanted to know who was his neighbor. Jesus goes on to tell him a story about a man was beaten, robbed, and attacked. And they stripped him of his clothes and left him half dead. It was a priest and a Levite passed by him and ignored him. They didn't show pity at all, and you would think a priest would and a Levite would. But no, that's not why we can't judge a book by its cover. We can't assume people with titles and people that are well-known would do what's right. No, they ignored this man. They walked around him. Friends, when we see someone in need, we must stop and help or ask, hey, do you need help? We can't walk around them and assume we must show mercy to all. Verse 33 through 34, a despised Samaritan came along and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and banished them. Then he put the man on, on his own donkey and took him into the inn where he took care of him. See, the Samaritan didn't know the man who was beaten, but he took time and he soothed his wounds with olive oil and he banished him. Then he even got him a room to stay in because he wanted to make sure he was okay because that's the same respect that man wanted. But sometimes we won't get what we give. We have to understand that we do it from the heart and do it unto God because if we wait on people to play it for, we will be waiting a long time. Verse 36 through 37. Now these, now which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked, the man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Then Jesus asked him, who do you think was the man's neighbor? It was the man that took pity. We have to learn how to show pity. Pity is something we must show to everyone. We can't be these people who expect pity and don't give any out. Because the same measure we measure someone else will be what we will get. We have to learn to help others, help our neighbors, and ask God to help us not to have trust issues. We all have experienced a bad moment or situation, but we can't allow these things to have control over us anymore. Surrender it all to God that he can work on you. Today, we learned that being a good Samaritan isn't about what others see. It isn't about telling what, what we have done. It's about doing it in a way that pleases God. In the end of the story, Jesus said this to everyone. 
Jesus told him, go and do likewise. He wants us to do what's right. I hear people say they don't know what's right and wrong anymore, but I have to say that in the good book, you will find what's right and, and you will find what's wrong. And if you're lost on what that is, open your word and the Holy Spirit will show you the way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything. Forgive us of the sins we have done. Help us to follow you and love you with all our heart and all our soul. Help us to love our neighbors the same way that we want to be treated. It's hard to show love to this world. It's hard to love when we don't get that same treatment back. It's so hard to do this when people want to fight and cause problems, but help us look past it all and help us to love to focus on you. We need you badly to teach us and show us the right way to go. We ask that we don't do things to show off, but we do it to the glory of you. And we love and and we love to please you with our life, every aspect of our life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference Romans 8:13 to 10. Love Work is no ill to his neighbors. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Romans 13 and 10. Luke 6, 27 through 28. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them who hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Luke 6, 27 through 28. Matthew 5 and 14. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and prosecute you. Further reading, Proverbs 16, Matthew 2, Ephesians 4, and 2 Samuel 9. If you're looking for the further reading, the further reading, the reference, the memory verse, the verse of the day is at the bottom of the bio. Also, you will see attached the, the reading of the devotional on three different sites. You can go to any of those sites and read it. Um, but they will be posted between 12 and 5. This ends the art of loving others. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe on any platform. Remember to share with family and friend. If you could, please share, share on your social media. Thank you. Be blessed.